Hello guys, this is Sai. Today I'm going to be talking about how to install a Hackintosh on your PC. Uh, before start, I want to mention that uh, this procedure is very complex and uh, you should know uh, uh, at least a basic, you should have basic knowledge about Hackintosh, uh, about your configuration and uh, I'll try to make uh, this video uh, very specific so that uh, anyone can uh, install this uh, especially this video is for nvidia users and uh, you know that uh, mac doesn't support uh, nvidia graphics card so uh, for uh, nvidia users uh, mac OS high series is the uh, latest version i think so uh, here i'm going to use uh, 1070 ti with uh, core i7 kv lake processor um, so, you know, so if you are using um, NVIDIA graphics card with a Kaby Lake processor or Intel processor, uh, Intel Kaby Lake processor, then you're good to go. Uh, and if you are using something different, uh, uh, it should also work. And especially if you uh, uh, have uh, NVIDIA uh, AMD graphics card or uh, if you're using, I mean, you don't have any extra external graphics card, then uh, you sh you can install. Um, uh, uh, Mac OS, the latest version of Mac OS. Um, the time I'm making this video, it's a uh, high uh, big sur. So if you are, uh, if you want to know how to install big sur, don't forget to hit the bell icon and uh, subscribe button. Because very soon I'm going to install. Um, because very soon I'm going to upload another video about uh, big sur. But uh, of course, uh, for NVIDIA users, uh, that won't work. Um, so today's video is only uh, dedicated for NVIDIA users. So. So if you want to uh, install, I recommend to um, keep backup of your files and uh, the best way to install Hackintosh uh, to use dedicated SSD and uh, uh, use a complete SSD and install that, uh, install your Hackintosh in that drive. So without any further ado, let's get started. First of all, uh, you will need a uh, pen drive, USB pen drive. Here I'm using uh, 8 GB pen drive. Uh, you can see it's uh, 7.8. Uh, I'm going to use the 8 GB pen drive uh, because uh, Sierra file is not that big. But uh, if you're using uh, or going to install Mojave or uh, newer version than that, uh, then you will need more than 8 GB, at least a 16 GB, I think. So here is the thing. Uh, for the first of all, you need to. Uh, erase the drive so i'm going to erase the drive using a mac os you can use uh, of course you can use windows uh, or it doesn't matter which operating system you're using uh, you just need to format that drive and uh, make bootable usb so here uh, if you're using mac os then you have to use, select a usb uh, you have to select the name and then uh, mac os extended journal and then guid partition map so after selecting that just erase that drive and if you are using uh, uh, windows then you can just uh, format the drive uh, using antifs format uh, so as i mean mac uh, if you're in mac you can use this uh, application belena hr so as i mean mac i'm going to use belena um uh, if you are using windows then you have to use another application um that's win32 uh, disk imager um, uh, you after uh, formatting your drive you can use this application to create bool usb as you can see in the pictures uh, you need to select uh, your uh, pen drive then select ntfs then uh, select your uh, downloaded uh, uh, mac file you can see that file um, one thing i didn't uh, mention that uh, you have to download the uh, mac os version by your own i'm not gonna uh, give you any link or something uh, uh, if you can find it uh, then I think uh, uh, Mac was uh, hacking touch is not for you so uh, if you have downloaded uh, the file and uh, you have to uh, select that file say as I'm as you can see I'm using uh, Olariela high here and then select your target uh, it's main uh, you have to select your uh, usb drive pen drive so for me in my case it's uh, that uh, 7.76 gb so now you have to enter your password um, as it's gonna write uh, make your usb pull usb and uh, 
so let's wait some time yeah, it says it will take 32 minutes so once you're done you have to insert uh, restart your uh, computer uh, make sure you have inserted your uh, pen drive so as you can see you have, you have to make some changes here um, I'm using a gigabyte motherboard in your case it can be different but uh, uh, overall the basic things are same you have to make uh, the fast boot divisible Uh, disable the serial port uh, one uh, it's not that important uh, you can leave it as uh, at default and here uh, HCHI uh, hands off make sure you enabled it and and um, I'll leave everything default here I think uh, everything is okay um, let's as I'm using a uh, external graphics card so I am disabling this uh, if you're using integrated graphics card then you have to select auto and now uh, let's save this and restart our PC again so here you can see I have only one drive and so let's load the Mac OS so it's gonna take some time so don't worry just uh, wait until it finish uh, uh, get finished um, so uh, if you have any problem here uh, like a black screen or uh, other problem then i think you have to uh, change the UA efi file um, find uh, the perfect efi file or uh, clover folder for you and um, if uh, if you have any problem here i will suggest to uh, do some research about this so now as you can see we have the, the installation page um, it's pretty easy I think uh, just to select the language and uh, do all the procedure uh, so here uh, you need to select the disk utility sorry about the display cause uh, the camera couldn't detect the monitor perfectly so here you need to select a view all uh, in this utility uh, you have to enable all right from view section uh, as you can see I have a three drive here and one pen drive and I'm going to uh, install this in my first drive uh, is the SSD 240 GB and from here you need to select APFS and make sure you select a GUID partition map so after that you need to erase and format your drive it don't take much time I think and uh, leave as at default so we it will take uh, 11 minutes for me it depends upon your uh, um, drive speed and after that uh, you will get a restart option and you need to restart your pc so after restarting uh, uh, you have to again boot into your uh, usb drive by uh, using use your usb drive because uh, uh, we haven't uh, installed our uh, efi folder yet uh, so boot from mac os boot mac os from mac now select uh, your country and uh, connect your Wi-Fi I hope your Wi-Fi is working and then next and continue do all the procedure and here I need to agree and let's create an account okay that's it uh, now your setup is done uh, you can um, set up your keyboard as you can see my graphics uh, isn't working because uh, so let's see about this you can see uh, it's uh, graphics showing is only 7 MB that's why it's happening am I that's why I'm having so much lag so I think I should leave the screen recording uh, 
so now we have to download uh, the clover app folder um it's it's version 2.5k so let's download this one okay let's download the package clover 2.5 package file dot pack pkg file okay it's so laggy uh, it's because my graphics is not working but it will work soon after i after i scroll my driver so in your case uh, um, in this case you won't be able to install um, uh, install download or uh, application downloaded from uh, internet uh, you need to enable it from your settings um, I, as you can see you uh, you can uh, enable it from here uh, just uh, you need to select uh, the app allow app store identification now identified developer okay so after allowing it you will be able to uh, install clover so here you need to change some settings as you can see just do exactly i'm doing here don't uh, think that much uh, So after selecting all of these, uh, just hit install. So now we need to enter our root password. Okay. So that's it. Uh, it should install the Clover folder inside our system. Is uh, we can move it to the trash. Now we have to install the web driver. So here you can see I'm using uh, this web driver. If you are using uh, 1070 Ti or Nvidia driver, then I'll recommend you to uh, use this version, exact this version. Uh, you will find it. Uh, make sure it's uh, exact same version. Because um, uh, only this one worked for me uh, in my uh, with my 1070 Ti. Uh, nvidia graphics card so as you can see after i have already installed this i'm not going to show you again uh, as you can see it's uh, showing uh, 5k 27 inch display and it got uh, uh, it recognized my gpu uh, you can see i'm using two displays here and everything is working just fine I hope that you didn't face any trouble installing Hackintosh. Uh, if you want to have more video about this, uh, don't forget to hit the like button. And uh, soon, very soon, I'm going to upload another video about how you can install uh, Hackintosh uh, Big Sur. Of course, that is not gonna work for NVIDIA graphics card user, but will work for uh, AMD and uh, Intel integrated graphics card user. So, hopefully, I'll see you later.